Hello all. Today we are going to take a look at Huawei's open source Linux distribution. It's called Open Eula. We are going to take a look at version 2009. So this is the installation page. So here you can select your language and your keyboard layout. So this distribution is made from the sources of CentOS distribution. So if you confirm your keyboard layout and your language, you can click continue. If you don't have the US keyboard, you can change it over here and also over here. First part is keyboard layout. So if you click that, if you are having a different keyboard, you can select that. If you don't see your keyboard layout, you can search in this part too. Click done and go back. And this one is the input language. Um, your local language you can select whichever whichever your language is this one you set your time zone if you want ntp you can keep this on if you don't want you can turn it off and set it manually over here click done the installation sources um, are like showing where, from where we are doing the installation in my case i'm doing a DVD ISO from a DVD ISO. If you want, you can do a network install. So this one is very important. It's similar to Red Hat and CentOS installer. So you can select what type of functionality your server is having. You can do a minimal install. You can do a server install. You can select the list of packages from here. You can do a virtualization host. For my case, I'm going to do a standard install. Mm, yeah. I'm not seeing any graphical user interface. So this is like only like for servers, I think. Okay, click done. Select the hard drive. Here we can set the administrative password or the root user password. So when you're setting the root user password, you have to be careful. Like um, this will only accept non-dictionary passwords with a character, a symbol and a number. So I have tried it multiple times. So if you don't have uh, three character classes, it will not accept and you cannot create a root user password over here. Let me type one again. When you finish, click done. And create a user. So it's a good idea to create a user, not to be a root user always it's always a good idea in especially in enterprise systems so i'm making this user administrator so that i can use sudo privileges for updates and all the other functions click done so by default the network is turned on in this distribution here i can set the host name for the distribution when you're finished Click done and click begin installation. That was like a fairly quick install. It took less than three minutes or something. After that, you press the reboot system and you will be greeted with a command line based interface. So here you enter your username, you enter your password.
so here we can see system load is 0 0.96 processes is uh, 102 memory used is 7.9 percent and all the other details so the one thing i would like to type in a linux shell is to check which kernel i'm using so i'm typing u name dash r so i came to a gnome shell i installed a gnome shell because there was no graphical user interface available so i just wanted to look how the graphical user interface of like a default gnome shell inside open Eula was so it's pretty basic gnome shell nothing fancy just we have one wallpaper over here so i installed ukui from ubuntu kalin so this is ukui so if you want you can try that i will link the commands for installation in the description so it looks beautiful you have all these customization options here if you go to about you can see i'm running open eula 2009 with ubuntu kalin ukui let me close that so if you are coming from windows ukui is fairly similar here you have the brightness bar here you have the date and time the network manager applet the network manager applet then the volume bar then you have your notifications if you want you can set up or clean up your notifications so this is whoever is take on open source so you can download this from their website i will link everything in the description if you want you can try this out it's fairly stable hope you have a wonderful day